It's Monday, May 15th. I'm wearing a pair of glasses that I made here at the lab a couple months ago. The front of the frames were CNC'd out of a piece of acrylic. This piece of acrylic. And the arms were 3D printed and attached with some fixtures I harvested from a pair of glasses I bought at the Renaissance, like a Salvation Army kind of store. Anyway, at the time I made these glasses with a script for Blender that let you turn a SVG of a two-dimensional pair of glasses into a 3D model because I didn't know how to model. Since then I've learned a little bit and yesterday I uh, made a model for the pair of glasses that I'm working on now. These are the arms that I made for the pair of glasses you were just looking at a few months ago. Yesterday I decided to start from scratch so I used these sunglasses that I wear all the time as the model. I took some measurements from the arm length and created this 2D sketch in Fusion 360. The 2D sketch became this 3D model, which looks like this. <laughs> I was working here at the Fab Lab, so I decided that I'd draw it, print it out, see how it looked, and iterate from there. That's a departure from my usual process, which is maybe too perfectionistic, trying to get it just right in software first. I printed it on our Ditto printer. These are a couple pictures of that process. And here's what it looks like. You can see the shape's pretty similar to my regular sunglasses. I was worried it would be too thin in this area and not structurally sound, but it seems it's pretty strong. So I just changed the angle of the bend because it didn't look very nice to me. I took some measurements, drew a two-dimensional sketch to fit on top of the glasses frame's arm and turn those into this 3D model that would be an enclosure attached to the arm. Pretty simple, but just a first, first pass at it. I printed it up, and it looked something like this. I printed the case part, which took about 45 minutes, and the little press fit cover, which took about 15 or 20 minutes. And now I've got my first version of the arm with an enclosure for the Raspberry Pi. It fits snugly in the arm piece and enclosure. This first version has a pretty rough hole scheme for the buttons. And you can see that the openings for the jacks are not exact. But it's pretty decent for a first pass and fits shut. You can open it like this. And you can imagine it might attach something like that with enough room for my ear at least. I was pretty happy with the results for the first version and of course it's definitely going to change. The next version of the circuit board is going to use a surface mount LED rather than the more traditional diode I was using which I actually ripped off before putting it into this enclosure because it would have made the buttons unreachable. It would have stuck out from the circuit board too much. This is the regular RGB LED and this is the surface mount LED. So I'll be replacing the LED with a surface mount LED and I have an idea to maybe even use some fiber optic uh, cable to pass the light directly to the eye of the viewer because really that indicator light is for the person filming, not really for the rest of the world. Of course, I think the shape is going to change, but overall, I think for the glasses, I'm going to stick with this camera, uh, sorry, uh, camera and Raspberry Pi and circuit board with buttons on one side and the battery on the other side. So that's the enclosure I'm gonna work on today so that we can get these glasses finished up and have the first version of the glasses working. I went down to the fabric store today and got my hands on some black fabric and some Velcro, which I'm gonna use in the next version of the camera after the glasses. I'm gonna to get to work and we'll see if I can uh, get anything done to show you in the next clip. Well, it's 10 p.m. I updated the 3D model for the enclosure for the Pi. I modified the location of the apertures for the buttons and ports, and rounded the shape, making it more pleasingly lozenge-like. I toured my 90-year-old grandmother around the lab. We laser cut a keychain together. I 3D printed the part and I discovered that although it looks great in black, my new design doesn't leave enough material at the edge of the enclosure, meaning that it's already falling apart. However, the new part does look nicer than its boxy predecessor. I watched a short Vice documentary about people making movies 
in a kind of DIY fashion in Uganda. My friend Chris brought some cool new Formlabs resin materials to my attention. This one's kind of neat. And I received some parts like these surface mount LEDs. This is the same thing. And uh, fiber optic cable that I was talking about. Check this out. I have to be at the passport office at 7.30, so that's all for tonight. See you tomorrow.